soon starlight will scatter through the dark. So let's all look up at Stargazing Park. Hello, stargazers. Now, last night, we found out loads about comets hurtling through space. I can't wait to find out what we're going to spot tonight. All we have to do is look up. When the night falls, Maggie helps us see wonders of the stars above us all. Turn the lights low, grab a cosy rug, wrap up warm and snug. Here we go. We're going stargazing. Gaze at stars shining bright. We're going stargazing. Spot a zooming satellite. We're going stargazing. Glimpse the moon and the planets above. We're going stargazing. So just look up, look up, look up. Come and join us underneath the stars. Hi, Chris. Hi, stargazers. Hello, Hi, Maggie. Maggie. <laughs> Welcome to the stargazing park. What can we see up there? I can see Maybe a flashing either. dot. Let's dim the lights, because we'll see a lot more stars. Now, it takes a little while for your eyes to get used to it, but are you seeing more stars yet? Yes! yes. I know they I see a million stars. stars. You see a million stars? Me I can see too. lots. I can There's just things flashing over there. Yeah, I can see two things flashing over there. Me too. Me too. I think they're aeroplanes. Now, I want you all to look for a tiny dot of light moving across the sky. Can anyone see anything like that? There's one moving! Where? Over there! Oh, yeah! Does anyone know what that dot is? I see a moving it's dot. It's a satellite. It's a I satellite. See moving dot. Really? <laughs> Maybe. You never I think, know. No, I think you're right. I think it is a satellite. So, what's a satellite? Ooh. Uh, it's something that orbits round Earth so that makes it so you, you can go on. Phone. I've got an idea. What, what's your idea? <laughs> it goes around space and collects information. Information, that's true. They can tell us about the weather, they can help us with our telephones and television signals, all sorts of things. I wonder who else is looking for satellites in the night sky? It's Poi. Hello, stargazers. We're looking for satellites too, aren't we? Yes. yes. Oh, but it's quite tricky looking for satellites because they're so tiny up there. Up close, satellites are this big. So, if a this big satellite looks tiny up there, imagine how teeny tiny Miss Mouse would look up there. I know, come back in a bit and you never know, you might even see Miss Mouse in space. Imagine Miss Mouse in space. Oh, I hope she makes it there. Can you spot any more satellites? Have a yeah. look, have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where? There, there. Where is it going? For that question, you can help me answer it. Come on, guys. Now, we all have our Stargazing Park satellites, but what we want to do is try and get them up into space. Oh, we can do that. Three, two, one, blast off! Up they go! Oh dear. And down they come. Yeah, what goes up must come down, I'm afraid. So now, let's see if we can do better. But Chris, I need to use your head. Oh, really? Can you put this Earth hat on, please? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm the Earth. Now, what we just did is we took our satellite and we threw it up in the air and it came back down. What do you think would happen if we threw our satellites this way? It would go away. That's right. They might fall off the edge of the Earth. So shall we give that a try? Ready, satellites? Three, two, one, blast off! Blast away! Oh! So what happened? It came, it came down. down. Yes, we're going to have to think about this a bit more. 
Let's say that we've got our satellites, but now what we're going to do is we're going to throw them just the right amount so that they go round here and start falling. But what they're going to do is going to keep on falling towards the Earth. And it's still falling, it's falling towards the Earth, but it's following the curve of the Earth at the same time. So where's the satellite going? It's going round, round and round and round. That's right, round the Earth. Maggie, you're orbiting me. <laughs> yes, our satellite is in orbit. Look, I've got an Earth hat just like Chris's. Let's put this on your head. Off you go into orbit, Miss Mouse. Whee! What's the view like, Miss Mouse? Well, lovely, Jake, but quite honestly, I've always wanted to be a real astronaut. Oh, I think we can help you with that, can't we, stargazers? Yeah! It looks like astronaut Miss Mouse is ready. Miss Mouse, this is your moment. You are about to go on an adventure that's out of this world. Three, Three two, two, one, blast off! Up, up and away! Come on, back to mission control. Well, here at Mission Control, we can find out what Miss Mouse's space flight is really like. I can see all of the clouds. She's in space! Mission Control, I've reached the edge of space! of the Earth. Can you see the curvy shape? Yeah. Miss Mouse, this is Mission Control. Prepare to come back to Earth. On my way! Miss Mouse, you're back! Thank you, Mission Control. Now what this astronaut needs is a nice cup of tea. This mouse in space is incredible. It really is. <laughs> now, stargazers, I've got a few things to show you. Can you help me, Charlie? What's this? Oh, that's right. Next we've got, what's this? Spanner. A spanner, OK. What else have we got, Charlie? Tool <laughs> a toolbox, that's right. And we've got one more. Does anyone know uh, uh, what space this is? Now. A space glove. You're right, you can tell because it's floating. This is an astronaut's glove. Now, we've got four things here. Can anyone tell me what they've got in common? All these things have been lost in space and they're known as space junk. You can see pictures to give you an idea of how much stuff is out there. It's like a snowstorm around the Earth. It goes round and round and round. And run. You're orbiting me. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. I'm going to see if I can spot some space junk through the window. Do you really think I'm going to see an astronaut's glove through the window? No, I need a telescope. Right. Well, good luck, Chris, trying to find an astronaut's glove. Maybe you should keep an eye out for an astronaut with a very cold hand as well, with a glove missing in space. And, of course, the astronauts you would find aboard the International Space Station, doing their work, doing their experiments, eating their dinner. In about 90 minutes, they can go around the Earth one entire time, and they see nighttime and daytime. They see the whole world. 
What an incredible view from the space station. Now, how is Earth looking from up here? Stargazer satellites? Great! You're happy? Oh, that's good. Well, I think we should sing a song about spotting satellites. That's what we're being. Spot a light, a satellite. Satellite, satellite. Spot a light, a satellite. Orbiting the Earth. Are you ready to go? Round and round and round it goes. Round it goes, round it goes. Round and round and round it goes, orbiting the Earth. Now, what else goes round the Earth? A glove! Oh, yes, the astronaut's glove. <laughs> Shall we sing about that this time? Spot a glove, an astronaut's glove. Astronaut's glove, astronaut's glove. Spot a glove, an astronaut's glove. Orbiting the Earth. Let's go! Round and round and round it goes. Round it goes. Round it goes. Round and round and round it goes. Orbiting the Earth. What goes up must come down! <laughs> oh, that's it. Get nice and cosy for another starlight story. Look up, the stars have stories to tell. Starlight scattered through the dark. Painting stories for us all. Gather underneath the stars. And hear their wonders told Looking up into the dark The night is yours and it is mine Looking up into the dark The dark upon a soul Upon a soul the stars will shine Upon a soul the stars will Shine. Everybody, look up. Gemini the Twins. Gemini the Twins wish to travel the world, to travel round in just one day and be home in time for tea. They hopped upon their shiny scooters and scooted really fast across the park and through the zoo, but stopped when they got to the sea. So they climbed aboard a pirate ship that bobbed upon the waves. Up and down and up it went, but sailing the world would take days. Through the telescope, they spied a rocket ready to zoom. So they took a lift with a satellite and blasted towards the moon. Then round and round and round they went, looking down on the land and sea. Round and round and round they sped and were home in time for tea. We'll see you for more stargazing tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye.